Well, it's just after the first of the year, and here we are in about the second full week of barely into double-digit temperatures, mostly in single-digit temperatures. So it's a lovely day to go out and review a car. Yeah, lovely, as you can see. And now that you're sick, um, today we're looking at the Hyundai Accent. It goes to answer the question that a lot of people ask. And it's a lot, it's a thing that people say they want, but do they really want it? We're looking at, unlocking the car, is there still a basic car that you can buy for not a lot of money that's reasonable? Well, that's what we're gonna find out here today on robostrip.net and 10 minute test drive. that kids that's like a five inch touch screen and a key that you have to use to start and open the car with and a manual transmission oh my god this is basic so by the way just how small is a five inch touch screen well uh let's see we will fire up the uh latest job scene product so there you go that's a iPhone X compared to that screen. Okay, just to give you a little context. Uh, no XM satellite. Uh, you can connect it via USB, but there's no Apple CarPlay. There is no uh, Android Auto. Not much of anything else. In fact, this car is about as basic as you can get. It's starts at a starting price of $14,995. And this has exactly one option, carpets for 130 bucks. And that's it. So this has not been a bad vehicle. In fact, in some ways it's somewhat enjoyable to drive, but it has an issue and we'll get to that in a minute. Oh yes, and by the way, again, how basic is this? Knobs. No markings for temperature or anything like this. No auto, no heated seats, no heated steering wheels. Hold on, let's get set and we'll go for a drive. So as we said in the opening, many people lament about the fact that there are no so-called basic affordable cars left in America anymore. And to some point, they have a point. Here comes the Hyundai Accent. Again, this is base level SE manual transmission. The only uh, option in this is a set of carpets. And so 14995 base sticker. I think the carpets are 125 bucks. Throw in, I think it's 895 for uh, handling and handling and shipping and things like that. You know, your 16 grand MSRP. And out the door if you're buying it brand new. You know, you probably get a thousand bucks knocked off and you're back at 15. So, what kind of value is that? Uh, it's interesting value because we have come to expect so much in cars these days. Uh, yes, it does have electric windows and electric locks, and that's about it, right? Uh, air conditioning, but pretty much these are things that every vehicle is going to have just from a cost standpoint. And uh, it would actually cost more to have like manual windows, manual locks, and no air conditioning because of volume issues, among other things, and changing on changing up on production lines. So this is fifteen grand's an interesting number, right? Because you can buy a really nice, pretty nice used car not that old for 15 grand so why would you buy this over a say certified pre-owned honda or whatever pick your favorite brand or even a non-certified pre-owned vehicle and 
the answer to that is I don't know. I really don't. Uh, this is, again, basic. So if you feel the need or you have the need from a comfort standpoint, from a financial standpoint, again, maybe you can get financed on a new vehicle, but you couldn't on a used vehicle, and in today's world, that is a thing. Uh, you know, it's, I can understand where you come to this. What, what are you missing from this? Well, you don't have uh, a modern, quote unquote, modern uh, infotainment system. It has air conditioning, but you're gonna be in heat, but you're gonna be guessing on your temperatures. Uh, no heated seats, and in the temperatures we've had, it's a thing. Uh, this one comes with a manual transmission at this price. If you want an automatic, well, tack on about another $1,100. We'll annotate that somewhere. All that said, and I can't speak for much in the back seat. We threw a couple adults back there; they they fit. It's it's okay. I mean, honestly, it's a light car. The 1.6 liter four cylinder in this thing. It's naturally aspirated. It's a rarity in these days and day and age. Uh, manual transmission. It's actually been a, it's been fun. Is it zippy? It's entertaining to drive. At least I mean, if you're driving basic, it could, should at least be fun. And this is okay. Um, you know, you're up against things like a Toyota Yaris. Let's get that. Um, the C, uh, IA, whatever, the, is it the Corolla IA, right? Or is it the Yaris IA? Whatever it is, Toyota, Toyota Scion integration. I don't know what's where anymore on half that stuff. Um, Honda Jazz, really about the only other vehicle. Uh, Fiat, or excuse me, Fiat. Well, I guess theoretically a Fiat 500, but you don't want one of those. And uh, uh, Ford Fiesta, something else kind of in the same kind of price range and category. Honestly, Honda Jazz, depend, if you can get it with the manual, okay, with the CVT, no. We drove that one a while ago and uh, did not enjoy the CVT. With a manual, it would probably be fine. Um, this with a manual is fine. With an automatic, can't say. Right handling on this thing is is fine. I mean, it's not anything special. Again, you're asking for a basic entry level car with no frills, and that's what you're getting. You're getting a reasonable ride. Um, brakes seem to be okay. Tires have handled reasonably well here in some really crappy conditions. Uh, the one thing we'll say though is that this thing takes forever to get up to temperature. Um, we let this, as we were setting up in here after the intro, I think that was running for about four or five minutes, and it was finally coming off the peg. Now, granted, it's uh, 14 degrees right now. Uh, it says minus nine Celsius, I can't, well, but I think I looked before we left and it was like 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, this thing just, maybe because it's cold, right, and you're on edge and it's uncomfortable to begin with. So that extra time for it to seem to come up to temperature so you can turn on the heat and actually have heat, it seems to take forever in this thing. Maybe it's not a thing, but again, lack of heated seats, no heated steering wheel, not saying that we expect that on this, but it's, you know, having come from two vehicles that in a row that have had it, it's been nice, it'd be nice to have on this. Um, you know, it is it is missed. Is this thing good value? Well, it kind of depends. Depends on what's important to you. If it's important for you to have a new vehicle and you don't care about things and features, you just want a new vehicle, that's gonna be reliable, it's gonna get good gas mileage, you know, mid 30s or a little higher on the highway, probably high 20s in the city and low 30s combined, then, you know, that's not a bad choice. It's a Hyundai, the quality is gonna be good, um, you're not gonna have to worry about it, good warranty, pretty good dealer network, it's okay. As we said, other items that are kind of in this time, in this market segment, Fiesta, Jazz, there's a Toyota product, uh, Chevy Sonic, um, Mazda 2 doesn't exist anymore, so that's long gone. Uh, I'm probably forgetting a few things, we can always annotate it and get North American market, so if you're elsewhere, Oh, uh, Mitsubishi, I, we're not gonna talk about them. Um, if you're in Europe or elsewhere, obviously you have many more choices. But here in America, this is what we have. This is a four-door sedan. Would it be better as a five-door hatchback? Well, of course it would be, but for whatever reason, they don't sell. People want four-door sedans, and it compromises some space as far as backseat and 
hatch area, but overall it's fine. Um, I haven't minded this vehicle. Maybe that's the best thing I can say. In a basic vehicle, I haven't minded it, haven't missed too much in it. Uh, it's okay. Are you better served with a, say, two to four year old vehicle, used vehicle, a certified pre-owned? Probably. Um, you're gonna get a much nicer vehicle, many more com creature comforts, and if you're getting certified pre-owned, you can get a warranty with that. Um, Hyundai may offer one of those for you as well, um, certified pre-owned, and maybe you can get a Sonata or something else that's at a similar price. Who's to say? But if you need a new vehicle, no frills, at about as low a price as you can get in today's market, it's not bad.